hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to this week's video i haven't vlogged in so long and i feel like i want to do like a weekly chatty vlog just to catch up with you guys i've been doing a lot of like i'm so yellow this lighting i've been doing so many like structured videos that i feel like i haven't been able to really connect with you guys so i figured i would vlog i've been really trying to grow my social media accounts and just be more consistent on all of my platforms tiktok you guys know i've been posting on there daily and that's been interesting but instagram i've been slacking a lot but i took some pictures today in this outfit this is what it looks like excuse my bed i'm doing laundry so it's off the bed but i got this set from nasty fit during their clothing sale and it's just this big sweatsuit i've been wanting to take pictures in this set for so long and i've just been procrastinating so much but i've been seeing a lot of like motivating tiktoks lately and i just need to just do it and just start taking my social media platform seriously so i took some pictures today so hopefully they turned out good i'm really hoping so because i don't have anything to post this week so fingers crossed i got some amazon packages in and i want to unbox them with you guys okay Ooh. i think most of this stuff is for my car because i am i'm adding some new things to my car so i think that's what most of this stuff is oh i also got a bathing suit I'll show you guys this bathing suit it's super cute hopefully it fits me i usually don't have good luck with amazon bathing suits but i got this in an extra small hopefully it fits me um this is what it looks like it's just it's this green color like emerald green color like my nails i've been super obsessed with this color lately so i got a bathing suit in it and it's very cheeky <laughs> i got this thing it's like a, a holder for your like registration and insurance and stuff oh, this is the trash bag normally i just use like target bags as my trash cans for my car but i wanted to get like an actual trash bin you know what i should do do that tiktok that you like do what you buy versus what you ordered versus what you got. I've really been on my TikTok game lately. For a while, I thought I was just not funny because I was not coming up with a lot of funny TikTok. But I have a couple lined up that I'm gonna record probably tonight. Okay, so this is the trash can. I believe on Amazon it said it just sits over like the side. I think I'm gonna sit it on my middle console and then sit it in the back, but it's just really small. I'm gonna put a bag in the middle. Okay, next thing. Oh, these are the cute little clips. These clips hold your sunglasses, so it clips onto your mirror. This clip holds your sunglasses. Lavelle loses his sunglasses all the time, so these are perfect for the car, and since we share a car, he'll never lose them again. Oh, and then I got, I got a new food scale. So I've been tracking my calories again with this whole weight gain journey, um, and the scale that I have is just really old, and it's, it times out a lot and it just doesn't work as well anymore so i got a new one um and it has this this one has more units like the one that i have now only has grams pounds and ounces i think this one has grams kilograms pounds ounces fluid ounces and milliliters so super happy about this but this is what it looks like wow look at that oh my gosh this is so nice oh <laughs> so i got i got this food chopper one of my youtube friends keisha she had this on her instagram story the other day and i cry every time i cut onions and i've been saying that i wanted a, a food chopper thing for so long and then i saw it on her story and i was like you know what this is a sign that i need to finally buy it but yeah i got this one sorry there's a glare i got this one and the next thing i got was some air fresheners for my car i got three of them so i got black coconut bahama breeze and turquoise sky oh gosh, i got so much stuff off of amazon so i found this purse i just had to have it it's so many compartments for so i just pulled it out of here and then it's this little pouch and then there's more <laughs> in it but basically this is like the coin pouch where you keep your like change and then here's a pouch and then here's a bigger pouch i'll have to look at the amazon picture i think it's supposed to go like this in front of it and then the coin purse hangs on this strap thing. i have the picture like propped up right here so i'm gonna try and put it together So I think I did it. I probably won't keep this chain on here. I think this chain is just for the smaller pouch. I really like this little pouch 
here. I think I have this backwards. So this is what it looks like without the chain. I'm probably gonna keep the chain off unless I just use this part of the bag. Like one night, I think I'll just leave it like this because the chain is just like a little too much for me. Moving on. So I got these specifically for the vacation that we're going on. And I don't really know, I don't really know how to work them. These little puffs for the mic. If it's windy, it doesn't get too loud. I've been seeing this a lot everywhere and I wanted to try it out. It is a mini ring light for your phone. So I'm gonna use this today when I film a couple TikToks in a little bit and I'll let you guys know how it works. I am making a mess over here. Okay, only two more things. Um, oh, these are my straws. I got the famous glass straws that everyone has been using on TikTok. I have straws now, but let me tell you what sold me on it because I was not gonna get them. I saw a TikTok and she said something about like, she doesn't like using regular straws because when she cleans them, she can't see if they're really clean on the inside. And I was like, Wow, that's smart. You can obviously see if it's clean or dirty or not. It's always been like a big thing for me with our straws because they're like rubbery and you never really know if they're clean. Like I have the little scrubber thingy that goes in the straw, but you never really know if it's clean. The last thing I got is a new license plate frame. The one I have is like sparkly and pink. So that is everything that I got from Amazon. Most of this stuff was for my car, just I'm really focused on getting my car all fancy. I haven't ordered from Amazon in so long, so this is, is exactly what I needed. I have a spending problem. <laughs> we have to do fries pickup here in about an hour and a half, and I really wanna film a bunch of TikToks before we leave, so I will see you guys when we're heading to fries. Okay, we just got back. We did all of this in one trip. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul because I haven't done one in a very long time. Um, but we got some turkey sausage. I have my turkey bacon, Lavelle's pork bacon, Mexican blend cheese for quesadillas, cheese for like grilled cheese and sandwiches, ground turkey for lunch, two of my almond milk yogurts, I couldn't think of the word. Got some Baby Bell cheeses, they're so good. Such a good and easy snack. Bagels and bread. Also got tortilla shells for the quesadillas. I'm not sure if we went on a bad day or there's another food shortage going on, but they're out of a lot of stuff at our fries. But um, well, I got these knockoff brand of pizza rolls, which I will not be eating because they look gross. I got frozen peaches, strawberry banana blend, blend, a strawberry banana blend. I got a mixed berry blend because I want to get back on making all of my smoothies. Got a big bag of kale, this big thing of spring mix. Got an onion and tomato for the guacamole. Got avocados. Also got some cuties because it's been a while. So they didn't have strawberries at fries today. So I just got raspberries and blackberries for my yogurt snack that I like to make. And then we also got lemonade and orange juice. They were also out of Eggos. So I got pancakes instead. We're having chicken wings this week. So I got a big bag of wings. They were also out of the fresh like packaged chicken wings. Sweet potato fries to go with the wings. Got meatballs to go for one of our dinners. I'm making like spaghetti and meatballs. Got a big box of Cheerios because they were out of the small one. <laughs> and then Lavelle got um, Honey Bunch of Oat cereal. Got chips for the guacamole. Ramen noodles for lunch. Got some eggs. I got some more of the protein that I've been loving. So good. It's a pre-made shake. It's just smooth vanilla. It is plant-based, but it doesn't taste plant-based. It's actually really good. I was very surprised, but I saw this one. So the one that I normally drink is 20 grams of protein, but this one is 32 grams of protein. So I'm gonna try this one this week as well. It's the same flavor of um, vanilla and it's still plant protein. So really excited to try those. I got these dessert shells. So I'm gonna make some, oh, I was gonna make strawberry shortcake, but there's no strawberries. Maybe I'll do like a Instacart order or something like that. And then I got some more vitamins. I got vitamin C and I got vitamin D. And then some non-food items that I got from Target. I got some long white socks for working out. I got headbands for working out. Um, I needed some more sensitive body wash for my tattoos. I wash my tattoos in this sensitive skin body wash because it just keeps them fresh. I got nail polishes, which I'm kind of sad. I got black, this like, pink mauve color and then I also got white but they were out of white and then for free I got a foot mask 
but I'm gonna have to go back and get white because I wanted to paint my toes white. So that was the whole reason of me getting that nail polish. And lastly, I got some toothpaste. We got some loofahs and we got paper plates. And that is my grocery haul. I am gonna continue this vlog until tomorrow since I really didn't get much done tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I just got off of work and I posted this TikTok earlier today <laughs> and it was like it's the time machine song it's like I wish I had a time machine and I <laughs> I posted it while I was at work today and I was just like oh I, I was like oh I forgot to post this TikTok so I posted it and then I came home and it was at like 600 views and I was like holy shit like I have 600 views it's at 13.4k <laughs> And it's not even like it's super funny. I think it's just because I used a a popular sound, but like out of all the TikToks that could have been viral, this is the one. Like I have other ones that are just as bad just as good as this one. And it's just like okay. But yeah, I guess does that consider me going viral on TikTok? I feel like viral is more like 20k, 50k. I don't know. It is super cool though. I'm super excited. I feel very happy about that. I'm getting so many comments though, and it's like, do I reply to them all? Do I not reply to them all? Do I like them? Like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm not used to like getting this many comments. So I always wondered like what would be my video, and it's just like why this one. <laughs> Yeah, that was super cool to see after work. But anyways, I just got off work. I am about to give myself like an hour of just like downtime to sit and scroll on my phone. And then I'm gonna do like an hour of reading for my personal training and study a little bit. Today was a good day. I was telling Lavelle that it's so crazy how much work I can get done when I actually put my phone down and create a to-do list and just work. I literally like put my phone on focus mode. I made myself a to-do list, which you guys saw, and I just went to work. And I feel like I got a lot of stuff done today. Like this is the most productive work day I've had in a very long time. So I'm really happy about that. I didn't get to everything, unfortunately, but just because there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done on with my job. But I'm gonna sit here, hang out for a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna study and then I need to edit and then we need to watch Euphoria. And I also need to work out because I did not wake up this morning. Yeah, that just was not gonna happen. I woke up with really bad cramps and I was like, I'm not getting up. I will see you guys in a little bit. studying and I figured I would go ahead and end this vlog. So what I wanted to end it off with is just recapping on January. So I know I did a whole video on like my 2022 yearly goals, but I did make myself January goals as well. I wanted to break down the big list of goals that I created and like make myself monthly goals. So I wanted to go over my January month with you guys and set my February monthly goals. Okay, so for my goals for January, it was to follow a morning routine and night routine three times a week, which I think I did. My night routine, I didn't start following it until like the last two weeks of January, so we're kind of getting there. Um, my next goal was to post two YouTube videos per week, which I did not do. I think I only posted twice so far this week. Today's February 1st, so I think I posted on the 16th and I posted on the 22nd. <laughs> oh, I also posted on the 29th. So I posted three times, which was not what I wanted, but it's okay. I got really busy and I just didn't have time to edit. I wanted to post three times on Instagram. I did not do that. I, let's see, one, two, three, six, seven. I posted seven times on Instagram. So I'm not really sure what that is a week, but Definitely not three times a week. I'm probably gonna lower that to twice a week just because I didn't realize how hard it would be to take photos. I know I talked about in the beginning of this video that I was taking pictures, but it was hard to just get two and then I got kind of anxious about posting those pictures just because taking pictures by yourself is very awkward. And yes, I'm in my house, but it's still 
really awkward it's something that i'm definitely gonna have to get used to and then the next goal is to post 75 medium every day on tiktok which i did eat five meals per day i've been doing really well with my eating i've been following my meal plan that i made for myself i've been like tracking my calories and just making sure i'm eating every day so i did do that and then lastly my financial goals was to save 500 dollars, which i did and then my next financial goal was to keep my credit card under 200 dollars, which i did not do i wanted to pay 200 dollars for my student loans which i did not do so definitely gonna have to work on some of my financial goals for february i mean overall like personally january was really good for me okay so moving on to february for my fitness goals i want to go to the gym four times a week i also want to join a gym in february for personal goals i want to continue with my morning and night routine but i want to like make it solid like i want to follow this routine every single day um maybe not so much on the weekends or maybe like take a day off in the middle of the week if i need it but I would like to have a solid routine and follow it every single day and i want to make more time for myself so i really enjoy just sitting watching tv playing the sims playing vr like i want to make more time for that in january i realized that i kind of put too much pressure on myself to get a lot of things done so i found out that like separating all the things i need to get done throughout the week is best for me so on the days that i'm not doing anything i want to play the sims i want to watch tv i want to just i don't know do nothing sit on the couch so just make more time for myself for my health goals, I really, really, really want to drink more water. I started taking creatine, and with creatine, you need to drink a lot of water. And I also want to go on a hike this month. Um, Arizona is still pretty cold for us, so I want to take advantage of this nice weather before it starts getting into triple digits here. Um, and then personal goals, I want to save $600 and pay $200 on my student loan. For content and social media goals, I want to hit 800 subscribers on YouTube. I think I'm at 750 right now. So that one I'm kind of hesitant about. Unless I can get some videos pre-recorded, I won't have any videos going up while we're on our cruise. And then I want to post on Insta twice a week. Like, like I talked about, it's really tough for me taking pictures. It's kind of like a mental block, so I want to work through that. That also goes with my next goal get more comfortable with taking photos when i get more comfortable taking photos i will post more on instagram and hopefully i can start going out in public and taking photos if you take photos in public or even in your house how did you get comfortable taking photos of by, by yourself without like feeling super awkward like obviously i get good photos out of it but i just feel like it takes so long i don't know maybe that's normal let me know that is my goals for february let me know what your guys's february february goals are down below i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog it's kind of all over the place and probably very chatty but i am going to record prepping for our cruise probably friday i'm so excited to go on this cruise but i'll tell you guys more about that in the next video so make sure you're subscribed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye yeah, now I'm thinking of, now I'm thinking of, might have caught the jewel.